is up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Erin Bees I am a wife a mom a military veteran and I spent 13 and a half years in multi-level marketing healed my way out and now I'm using all of my social media platforms to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of multi-level marketing companies and the tactics that are used by their reps to try and recruit you <sighs> How's your day? How y'all doing? Um, I have something really exciting to show you before I hop into today's video. And this was something that was gifted to me. And I am really excited to show you. It was made custom for me. So this is a cup. Look at, Don't join an MLM. But guys, look at this. <laughs> Complete with my mole. I know it's kind of hard to see, but... <sighs> This was made for me by Megan at Pansy and Peach. You can find her on Instagram. Again, it was gifted to me. And uh, her website is shoppansyandpeach.com. I'll make sure that I put it in the video description below. I think she did such a great job. It's such a cute cup. And I love that there's two different things on it. There's the don't join an MLM. And then there's also my silhouette, which I think is super fun. And if you guys go to her website and you find something that you would like, use the code Aaron 15 in all caps. I'll also, uh, it's also going to be here on the screen for you. I don't benefit in any way on that. I feel like that's important to mention. It's just a code that she gave me um, in case I wanted to share it with you guys. And I want to share it with you guys. So there you go. Anyways, um, thank you, Megan. I appreciate you. I love the cup. I think it's so fun. And thank you for sending it to my P.O. box. I appreciate you. Okay, today's video. Today's video is uh, another update on somebody that I've already featured on my channel. Her name is Ashley. She was with Awakened. Do you guys remember the gal that said, say hello in the comments, don't be rude, over and over again? Yeah, this is her. And she switched companies to zip slim. I know spoiler alert, but it is what it is. Uh, and this is her spilling the tea live and we're going to react to it. So mm -hmm, I know whatever you were just thinking, I'm with you. Drop your commentary below and let's watch this together. What is up my party people? Ashley Crawford, AKA the blonde boss in the his house. What's up? Happy Friday. Say hello to your girl as you're hopping on. You know the drill on my lives. Don't be rude. Do not hop on and not say hello to yo girl. Hashtag live if you're watching live. Hi, Kelly. Hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay. First and foremost, <sighs> I just want to say I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous to do this live, but I, I know why you're switching companies and this is the live saying that you're switching companies. That's why you're nervous. It's not that hard to figure out. I'm super nervous to do this live. So please, please, please show your girl some love. Put some hearts in the comments. Show your girl some love. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know if you've been following me for a while or if you're a new follower. All I know is y'all need to show you me some love, okay? Because your girl is about to poop her pants. Um, we are one minute into her 25-minute video. And all she's done... Oh, by the way, this pause story? Okay. <laughs> y'all are going to go wild with that one, I know. Uh, we're one minute into her 25-minute video. And all she said is, show me some love, don't be rude. And just basically... Don't watch without commenting. Show me some love. This is, you know, difficult. It's it's the thirst for engagement. I mean, I used to do it too. I used to do it too. Crazy, but yeah. I'm literally about to poop myself, okay? Um, hashtag live. Maybe don't go live. Maybe go and handle that and then maybe do the live. Maybe just go to the bathroom. If you're watching live hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay i'm gonna try to keep this relatively short if y'all know me you know that i am super long-winded so sorry in advance but i am going to 
try, oh my gosh, look you guys, my little tag on my shirt is out. I am going to try to keep this relatively, um, relatively short, sweet, and to the point. But what I do know is I'm about to poop my pants. So show me some love and show me. What in the world? <laughs> Go to the bathroom, bro. <laughs> some love throughout this live. Pretty, pretty, please. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so a few things. Whew, this last week has been legit one of the hardest weeks I have ever been through in network marketing history, in the history of all histories. And I have been in this industry for over eight years. Um, I've been through some pretty crazy shit. So <laughs> if that says anything, it's been... The it's it's taken the cake. I'll just say that. But if you are hopping on this live and you're coming here to hear dirt, hop on off, okay? I know that I in the past have, you know, gone on live, said I'm quitting the industry or I don't really know what I want to do or um I'm going to crap talk this company, right? I've been there. I've done that. Am I frozen? Can y'all hear me? Someone Okay, she's saying if you're if you're coming here to find, you know, whatever, I'm just going to say the word T. If you're coming here to find the T, just go ahead and get off of the live. Meanwhile, this live is called Spilling the Tea. Sue. So... Let me know, please. Um, someone in the comments said I'm frozen. So let me know if y'all can hear me. Pretty please. Um, but... In the past, I've been known to like, you know, just be a little vocal and a little sassy and a little salty, but I'm just saying I, I'm doing things different this time. Like I, as a leader, as a human, I have grown a lot. I'm doing things different this time. Meanwhile, does the same exact things that she did last time when she switched companies. Um, and so if you're coming to this live to get the dirt... You can just X out now. Um, I am more than happy to have individual conversations with anyone that has any questions about what is going on in my life with the company that I was with. Um, let me know if I freeze again. Sorry, it's storming out, so my internet might be terrible. But Of course she wants to have conversations one-on-one -on -one in private because it's easier to hide cross-recruiting that way. Of course. Um, if you're coming here strictly to get lie or to get, get the dirt, to get lie, to get lies. Is that what you were saying? Was that a Freudian slip man? Hmm. And share drama. Y'all can close out now. Show me some deuces and <laughs> close out now. Okay. I mean, you're trying to, in my opinion, create drama with the title of the live spilling the tea, but then people get on and they're like, what's the tea? And you're like, don't. We're not here for that. I'm not here for that. This is, I'm doing things different. Come on, man. But what I can tell you guys is that for the last month, I've really, really been struggling um, for a number of reasons that I'm happy to share in a private forum. But I have been really trying to find something new that I am going to do for many, many, many reasons. Um, I have. I'd love to know those reasons. Could it be the problems with the product? Could it be the problem with the manufacturing? Could it be the problem with the alleged formula change? Could it be the fact that they're not going to ship out the replacements for people's products because they were literally pooping out whole capsules? They're not shipping that out until next month. February-ish sometime, probably late February. And by the way, I don't know how they're going to, they're working with a new manufacturer that is encapsulating it. And the time frame is super short. <laughs> so, hey, Awakened, just give people refunds. Give them their money back. That's the right thing to do. I've tried more products than I can count. I have been offered bridges. I've been offered corporate legs. I've been promised the world, but the bottom line is I cannot be bought. And if y'all know one thing about me, you know that I don't need this industry. 
I choose this industry because I love this industry. I have an amazing career. I have an amazing income. Don't get me wrong. This industry has provided me with money and you know, that money has allowed me to do so many things that I haven't or wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Um, I can't be bought, but joins a company that not a lot of people have heard about because she knows that that's where she's going to make the most money. Just because you didn't accept a bridge contract or corporate legs or any of those kind of, you know, sneaky little things doesn't mean that you can't be bought. Uh, Kelly said she must have missed something. Go back and check a few of my posts. I'll talk slightly about it, but I'm not I'm not going to get into the details on here. Oh, don't worry. We will on here. And, you know, I'm happy to have a private conversation with anyone. Just be patient, y'all, because my inbox has been legit insane. Um, but I can if you're not going to talk about it on here and you titled the video spilling the tea, then why are you going live? Cannot be bought. <laughs> I cannot be bought. My integrity, my character, my reputation means more to me than anything. And the bottom line in this industry is what I'm here to do is help the average person. I'm here to help someone put three, $400 in their pocket so that they can take their kids to sports or put food on the table. And I am here to help elevate people, help them grow as a human, help them become a better person, help them feel valued. When I joined this industry, I was in a terrible, terrible, Okay, before she tells us all the emotional manipulation, in my opinion, that she's about to spill, she just mentioned, you know, my integrity, my character, but this is somebody that is participating in multi-level marketing. This is somebody that is company hopping yet again to a company that not a lot of people know about. And the reason that they do that is because they can know they, they, know they can make the most money quickly. That's why they company hop. That's why we've seen countless leaders that are like, I, I was praying for an opportunity like this. It's not necessarily the product. It's the fact that they can get in early. So you have somebody that's like my integrity, my character. Meanwhile, they're in multi-level marketing and she's talking about, I want to help people make three to $400, put food on the table. But statistics and data shows us that that's not the case. 99.7% of people lose money or don't make any at all in multi-level marketing, according to the FTC. We can also back that up with the company's own income disclosure statements. Now, ZipSlim does not have one of those. Uh, I find that interesting. Maybe it's because it's, it's maybe a newer company. I'm not sure when that company was created or whatever. But the data shows us otherwise. And this phrase of a personal development program with a compensation plan, that's just garbage. That's just these people, in my opinion, trying to justify what they're doing. Listen, we're making better humans. No, you're not. You're hurting people. People are losing money. They're going into debt. And the weird part is that that's one of the main things that they say that they're going to help people with. Hey, let's get you out of debt. You know, time freedom. They have none. You know, financial freedom. The people at the top have that based off of the work of other people that are under them. So it's really wild to me that she's like, I'm, I'm here to help people make three to four hundred dollars. I'm here to do this. I'm here to do that. And none of that is backed up by what we know and what I personally experienced being in the multi-level marketing industry terrible place. I was in a domestic violent relationship. I was a graduate student getting my doctorate. I had no money to my name. I was across the country from my family all alone. And I joined this industry. The only reason she's mentioning that, in my opinion, is because she wants to tug on your heartstrings. She wants you to go, oh my gosh, I was in that situation. Or, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so I'm so stressed out with school and work and this and that, and I could use a little extra money. That's the only reason she is saying any of that is to emotionally manipulate her audience. For friendship, for community, to feel like I had value. And that is what it gave me. And I am who I am today because of this industry. So the bottom line is I'll probably never completely walk away from it. Okay. You are who you are because of the work you have done or not done on yourself. The MLM company is not responsible for that. You are the one that did that work. 
So when these MLMers say that, you know, I, I'm a better person because of it. Well, no, you're a better person because of the actions you took, not because of the company. Because I want to be the change in this industry. I want to offer that same piece of hope or that peace of mind and hope to other people. I if she says I want to do network marketing different, I'm going to scream. Mm -hmm. I want to help other people know that they're loved, they're valued. They have something to add to this world, to this community, to their network, to their world. And I will continue to do that. Um, what, like, I've been told so many times over the last few weeks that the reason that I have been looking for other opportunities is because of a negative mindset or because I'm only looking at the negative. And let me just tell you, friends. No, you were looking at other opportunities for the money. Let's be real. That is toxic positivity. Because I, if y'all know me, am one of the most positive people there ever was in this entire world. I do agree with her in the fact that people, I'm assuming, I don't know this obviously for a fact, but I'm sure that she was having conversations, whether it was team members or her upline. By the way, I wonder what Megan thinks about this. Megan, what do you think about her going to Zip Slim? I'm, I'm just kind of curious. Anyways, uh, she was probably talking to team members. She was probably talking to maybe some people in her upline. And that's why they were saying, you know, oh, well, you're just you're just focusing on the negative. That is a, a, a way that they try to control the narrative. And that's why they focus on toxic positivity most of the time. You know, oh, well, you know, this we're having a hard time with the manufacturing process. You're being negative, you know. Uh, so I do agree with her there about the toxic positivity. But I don't agree with the fact that she was like, I was just looking for something new because, you know, I wanted to do better. No, you were looking for something new so that you could make the most money. That's what this is about. Um, and so I know that it's not my mindset, right? Like I know when my mindset's in the gutter, I know when I need to sh shape up my mindset. I am very in tune with who I am and where I'm at, but I am one of the most positive, supportive, hardworking people that you will ever meet. I know my downfalls and that is not one of them. I, I do want to say that people that are in multi-level marketing companies or have been in multi-level marketing companies work extremely hard. And the reason that I'm saying that is because there's there's no time freedom when you're in a multi-level marketing company. The more money that you want to make, the, the, the more you have to do. You're working so much constantly and it takes over your life. The MLM and the, the, the Zooms and the in-person events and the content creation, all of that takes over your life to where your life before the MLM is what fits into the pockets of your day. It's supposed to be vice versa. They say it's vice versa, but it's actually not. And you don't discover that typically until you get into the company and you go, wait, this isn't, a, this isn't what, what I thought it was going to be. I do want to say that people that are in multi-level marketing work extremely hard, but they're not compensated for that work typically. And the reason that uh, many of the leaders, when they have people that leave or those types of things, they're like, oh, they just didn't work hard enough is because they're just trying to victim blame and shame. If you are in a multi-level marketing company and you got out, I would love for you to comment below how many hours do you think you worked? You know, and when I say work, I mean team trainings, you know, company trainings, in-person events, content creation, social media going live. Tell us in the comments what you did and how many, estimate how many hours a day you worked. It's not laziness as far as the reason that people get out. It's not because they weren't working hard enough. It's because they saw it for what it is. A loss of income, a loss of self. You know, they're they're working for free for these companies to advertise the products and they're, they're not being compensated for it. So I have been told so many times over the last few weeks that you shouldn't quit when things get hard, right? And let me just tell you guys, Durr, I'm well aware of that, okay? My whole life could have been a statistic. The domestic violence, the single parenthood, the growing up poor, health issues that I am not going to get into on here. None of that has anything to do 
with the conversation at hand. And the only reason you're bringing up the things that you are is to uh, emotionally charge the conversation, to tug on people's heartstrings. So many times in my life, I could have quit when things got hard, but I didn't and I don't, and I'm not a quitter, but what I will never do is stand for something that isn't morally, ethically, or it, it, how do I even say this? If it's not aligning, if there, if one plus one is not equaling two. Didn't she do a live when she joined Awaken talking about how aligned she was with the company? Also, this stigma of you shouldn't quit when things get challenging doesn't really apply to multi-level marketing. That is something that these people that are involved in the companies say, trying to shame the people that got out. First of all, if you left multi-level marketing because you saw it for what it is, congratulations. That is incredible. And I would love to celebrate that in the comments with you. But this, this narrative of, oh, they quit. Yeah, 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 we did. We walked away because we saw it for what it was a scam where only the people at the top are going to make any money. So no, thank you. No. There's more to the story. And one of the greatest gifts that I've ever been given in this life is I'm an empath and I'm very, very intuitive. I have a lot of people in my personal life and my professional life that come to me and they ask me for a judgment on a situation because Okay, listen, I have absolutely zero problems with people that are empaths. I have absolutely zero problem with people that are spiritual. I have absolutely no problems with any religion, any beliefs, unless you're a racist, unless you're a homophobe. Let's just put that out there. Um, however, when you are using this in this context... The reason that you're saying this is because now you're trying to spiritually manipulate your audience. And I think that that's gross. And also, if you're able to see things, because that's kind of what you're implying here, uh, you should have been able to see the problems that were going to happen with Awakened, right? I'm just trying to use her way of thinking in all of this. Why didn't you provide that for yourself, you know? I read people. I read situations. I am a very, very, very intelligent human being. I'll leave it at that. And I'm just going to say that I'm very good at reading situations. I'm very good at reading people. Um, I have the gift of intuition. We'll just leave it at that. I'm also going to say that no matter whether you turn left, you turn right, or you go straight, people are going to judge you. So what she's saying there, in my opinion, is it doesn't matter if you stay with Awakened. It doesn't matter if you come with me. It doesn't matter if you go with another company. People are going to judge you. Just do what's best for you. Meanwhile, what she's really wanting to do and the whole purpose, in my opinion, of her doing this live is to create a list of people to message, uh, consider it a curiosity live, consider it a cross recruiting live, whatever you want to call it. The entire purpose of this is to stir the pot a little bit, which is why she called it spilling the tea, even though at the beginning she was like, listen, if you're here for, you know, the drama or whatever, just get off of the live. Well, why did you call it what you did? Because you knew calling it that was going to bring people into the live. They were going to hear what you have to say. They were going to hear your emotional manipulation. Now your spiritual manipulation. I'm sure at some point you're going to talk about the money that you can make and try to downplay uh, the fact that Zipslim is a multi-level marketing company. Although you had some really choice words to say on this post about the company. Let's talk about that real quick. So this is a post that she put up. Somebody sent it to me. By the way, uh, somebody sent me this video as well. Thank you for sending me this video. I appreciate you guys so much. And by the way, I keep everybody anonymous unless you tell me otherwise. I just, I keep every everybody anonymous um, and that's for your protection. So, okay. This is what she said. Y'all thought I was done. No, we didn't. We, I mean, we had hoped, but, but really I'm just getting started. And they're all using this same kind of post that are coming from different companies. It's weird. If 
chasing this shiny ball is so wrong, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> this industry is changing. Yeah, it's changing because the anti-MLM movement is getting really, really loud and people are hip to your game. You know what I'm saying? What used to work, uh, okay, There's, I think there's just an extra letter in here. What used to work won't forever. I found the perfect solution, social referral marketing. That's what we're calling this. That's another, yet another name for multi-level marketing. Just call it what it is. It's multi-level marketing. I've seen the comp plan. JJ and I have covered the comp plan. It's multi-level marketing, but okay, go off. Social referring, social referral marketing, a cross between MLM and affiliate marketing, the best of both worlds ma'am. No, it's not. It's multi-level marketing. Okay. Today is the last day to save half off the coaching fee. And then she lists all the benefits of it. $50 commissions paid every 72 hours. One product that does everything and tastes delicious. Less than 2000 reps. Wow. So it's almost like you got in early, huh? So could that be why she's doing this live? Probably. Affiliate options and team building options. So if there's team building options and there's a comp plan where you are paid off of other distributors that you sign up and other distributors sign up under you, it might be multi-level marketing. I'm just saying. I may or may not be letting you know that if you knew what was coming, you would shift. Ooh, the FOMO. <laughs> You've been watching long enough. It's time to lock arms, sister, and get on this ride of the life of a lifetime. You've been watching line long enough. Didn't you just join like 2.5 seconds ago? I don't understand. You're going to want to be a part of what I don't, I, it, the rest is cut off, but. Oh, and it's the different fonts and the emojis and <sighs> Lord. They're going to be mad at you. They might hate on you, but I'm going to tell you right now, I would rather be judged for being honest and truthful than being judged for feeling like people, like I lied to people. If you want to be honest, and I, I mean this genuinely, call it multi-level marketing. Say, hey, I get, I get paid more to recruit. If you are tired of being judged, then call it what it is. There's so much time and energy spent coming up with new terms. Social retail, Modair says. Affiliate marketing. This is just affiliate marketing. Meanwhile, the rest of the comp plan is on team building and, uh, you know, like pool bonuses, leadership pool bonuses, car bonuses, all of that stuff. Don't worry. We'll talk about that here again here in a little bit. But if you want to be known as somebody that is being honest within multi-level marketing, try using exactly what it is multi-level marketing. I get paid a little commission for selling a product. And then I get a lot of commission, a lot of bonuses when other people sign up to do the same thing, which is why I prefer to recruit. Like that's the kind of thing that would be honest. I've yet to seen a multi-level marketer do something along those lines. They spend too much time and energy trying to smoke screen what's really going on versus saying what's honest. Can you guys imagine if there was a multi-level marketer that said, listen, we're going to go over the comp plan. You make a little bit of commission selling a product, but you make a whole lot of commission when you recruit and just was super honest. Like, okay, we're going to go over the income disclosure statement. We're going to go over, you know, the comp plan. And can you imagine? No, because that would never happen. I would rather people hate me for being honest. You're than not have People hate me for lying to them. Period. End of story. Were you lying to people when you said Awakened was amazing? Were you lying to people when you said that you were super aligned with Megan and Awakened and what, you know, the direction that that company was going? Was that a lie too? And if you don't know me, me by now, I'm kind of a loner, okay? And I'm okay with that. I'm a little awkward. I'm a little weird. And I'm okay with that. I bet she's just saying that because... I don't know this for a fact, but I, I bet Megan did not take it well. If you guys know, feel free to comment below or message me or whatever. But I would venture to say Megan probably did not take this very well, along with other people within that team. 
And I bet that's why she's saying that I'm, I'm a loner. I don't, I don't need anybody else. I would rather walk alone than walk with people going in the wrong direction. Mm. And I'm just going to say that. I, <sighs> I feel like I am decoding an MLM hun. I feel like I should do like a series. Well, I mean, it's kind of what I do on videos, but decoding MLM huns. <laughs> I don't have to tell my side of the story on a lot of this. And Yet she does a live called Spilling the Tea, where people expect her to spill the tea. I'm not going to this time. In the past, I have. This time, I'm not going to, friends. Like, I'm, I'm just not going to. Time... Time will tell the story. I, I don't. I don't need to do it. Um, but I've been getting tons of questions. Where are you going now? What are you doing? So what I am going to say is, I have been searching far and wide for something that I can stand behind after everything that I just went through, and. What did you go through, though? It's so weird how they tell part of the story, but they leave out the main chapters. Why are you being so vague? I, it had to check all the boxes. The product has to be amazing. It has to not only be amazing, but it has to be an instant impact product. People have to feel it working. No, it's working. I have to stand behind the CEO, know who my CEO is, stand behind them. Um, stand behind the company, the product. And the number one thing is I have to be able to help the average network marketer win or people who've never done network marketing. I have to be able to bring someone in and know how to help them make an extra few hundred dollars because the bottom line is that's what I joined this industry for. Didn't she say awakened filled all of those squares? I swear she did. And I told you, I have been trying over the last month more products than I can count. Um, I have been offered all the things, all the things, wood and corporate legs and bridges and all the things, right? But your girl can't be bought. I want something that I can stand behind, that I'm proud to support, leaders that are authentic and that care about me as a human. First and foremost, before business. Is that a jab? Did she just... Megan, did she just jab you? Are you okay? Wow. And what I'm just going to say is I found it, you guys. I found it. And it's not something that I was offered money for. Um, it's not something that I was offered a bridge at it was yeah it, it, it's like none of those things look at this I have a silly filter on here do you guys see that it's driving me nuts so it's driving me nuts so um and like I I just I can't be bought um that's terrible, but we're just going to go with that. Um, I can't, I cannot be bought. Your girl cannot be bought. And I searched far and wide. Sorry, I'm starting over. I kind of lost my train of, train of thought with that. Um, but I need something that I can help the average person win. And I finally found it. And I'm going to tell you guys that it is different than anything I have ever ever seen in this industry. And I am so beyond excited to move on and look forward, onward and upward to something that is going to truly change so many lives. So I'm looking at the Zip Slim <laughs> comp plan. <laughs> and you know, JJ and I always talk about this. Anytime we go through a company's comp plan, how many, how many, because they say, oh, we, we get paid you know, 10 ways, how many ways are you getting paid off of the sale of the product to customers? And how many ways are you getting paid off of recruiting? 
I have it right here. They actually made it super easy to see the difference. So I'll put this up on the screen. So there's 10 ways to earn. And they include three of the ways as a customer. So customer referral rewards. Number one, customer introduction commission. So that sounds like you sell them a product, you earn a commission. Two, loyal customer commission. That sounds to me like somebody that is on some sort of an auto ship or whatever, you earn commission on that. Isn't that the same thing as customer commission? Although it probably is a smaller commission because it's probably discounted in some way. I don't know that for a fact. That's just kind of after looking at so many of these, uh, of these companies and being a part of six companies over 13 and a half years, you kind of get a flow to the, the, the language. You kind of get hit to the game, if you will. Okay. Number three, beyond bucks, earn free product. That's probably for having a certain number of people on like an auto ship and you earn free product credits. So you don't really get paid on that. You just you, you get free product credits. I bet. I bet that's what that is. Okay. Now let's go over the team building rewards. And there are seven ways. Yeah. All recruiting. So achievement bonus, that's for ranking up. I'm sure that in the comp plan, at some point you have to have team members, whether it's through volume requirements or people have to hit a certain rank below you. I'm sure that there's some sort of a stipulation. Yeah. All right. Uh, number five, fast start bonuses. So those are for brand new distributors. I've talked about this before. You guys know the drill, but it's when you join, they have this fast start period where they amplify the money that you can make. And then after that fast start period, the money drops. And you're like, what, what, what just happened? I don't understand. I was making all this money. Yeah. It was the fast start bonus and it's designed to keep you in, in my opinion. Okay, number six, a super fast start bonus. Yeah. Number seven, matching bonus off of people that are under you. Yeah, love that. Uh, depth matching bonus, depth. So as you build bigger, you're probably going to get paid. And as you promote, you're probably going to get paid deeper into your organization, as they refer to it. Uh, number nine, organization commission. So that's a percentage probably paid off. Uh, from your team. Yeah. Number 10, leadership rewards pool. So you hit a certain rank, you probably get a percentage of the retail sales company wide, you know, thanks for being a leader of the company. Yeah. So seven of the 10 ways that you get paid in this company are off of recruiting. Three are off of customers. So it's not really balanced. And I would venture to say that you're probably going to make way more money team building. So this thing that she mentions about social referral marketing. Yeah, no, this is multi-level marketing. So let's just call it what it is. It's something that I can bring the average person in and they're earning $50 per sale on their product. But they have to be a distributor. You can't just refer as a customer because when you join these companies as a customer, you don't have to provide any kind of information for tax purposes. You're not putting in your social security number or any of those things. Can you imagine if that was asked, hey, order this product, just put your social in, huh? What? That doesn't make any sense. So what she's saying is deceptive because you have to join as a distributor in order to get pay with these companies, because what will happen is once you make a certain amount of money in a year, if you're, uh, if you're in the States, I know every country is a little bit different, but if you're in the United States, it kicks out a 1099 that shows what you were compensated as a 1099 contracted employee with the company. So what she's saying there is a little bit deceptive. Most companies that I've been with are like seven to $12 per sale. That's chump change, you guys, in today's today's world. I found something that is $50 a sale for people. $50 a sale. As a distributor. When they join this business and, and share this product with the people they love. Now she finally said it. When they join this business. So it's not really social referral marketing or whatever she called it earlier. You're not just socially referring this to people as a customer. 
you have to join as a distributor. This whole thing is about recruiting. I can bring someone into this business and help them get two customers. They're going to earn a hundred dollars and they're going to get their next month product for free. So not only. So there you go. So that's the second part. Uh, this is fascinating how this is all unfolding. Are you guys, are you guys digging this? So that's the, so the loyal customer commission. So two customers is probably going to be the most important thing. And then the beyond bucks prove it does this too, or at least they used to when I was a part of it, where if you had two customers on a smart ship and they would take the average of the two orders on their smart ships, and then that's what you got in free product the following month. And so this sounds like it's probably something kind of similar where you have two customers and you can get your box of whatever for free the following month. That's what this sounds like. Only am I putting more money in their pocket, but they're getting their supplements for free. They're not having to take their entire paycheck that they've worked for and put it back into the company to get their product. Because you guys, that's the model of most network marketing companies. People are lucky to make enough money to afford their product for the next month. Are you really truly helping people? Are they really earning money when they're making $300, but they have to turn around and put 250 of that back into product to purchase for the next month to stay active so that they can keep earning money? It's insane, you guys. Um, this company that, I, that I'm that i at, is it, it has a trademark um, program. It's not technically MLM. Does it still have a business building component? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not technically an MLM. It either is or isn't. Not This isn't a, well, almost kind of, sort of kind of thing. It's either a multi-level marketing, which we know it is, or it's not. You know, there's, there's affiliate marketing that's not multi-level marketing. And then there's multi-level marketing that absolutely is not affiliate marketing. There's no sort of kind of. Not really. Girl, stop. Who told you to say that? That's terrible. Yes. But leaders have to work on building their own businesses. And business builders are rewarded for sharing the product. For recruiting. Call it what it is. They get their product for free. They get $50 in commission each time. And it's not binary. Can I get an amen, you guys? The last few companies I've been at have been binary. And I don't think I would ever, ever, ever join a binary comp plan again for many reasons. And if you look at the legacy companies that are out there right now, can y'all tell me if they're binary? They're not. So legacy companies like Amway? <laughs> Oh my God, this is wild. They're not binary. There's a reason for that. Um, a product that actually works, that has clinical trials, that has effective ingredients. Okay, I know you said the same thing about Awaken. By the way, let's see those clinical trials. Go ahead and drop the link on the live. No, none of this, I'll message you. No, no, no. Drop it for everybody to see if the product's that great. You'll have the resources and the studies available for people. At least I would. If there were studies, if first of all, if I was a part of this company, obviously I'm not. But if I were a part of this company and these studies were that legit, I wouldn't like I would I wouldn't even say anything. I'd be like, listen, just read this. This is all you need right here. Here's the study. But these studies are not legit. They're not typically on the product. They're on specific ingredients that have nothing to do with the product. But go ahead. Let's see the studies. That is amazing tasting that I crave every single day. This product helps with sleep. It helps with libido. It helps with weight loss. It helps with curbing appetite and cravings. It helps with memory. It helps with anxiety. It You can't say that. You really can't say any of that. By the way, is it going to do my dishes too? Is it going to make my bed for me? Because the way that these MLMers make things sound, it's like, oh my God, it's going to do everything. Oh, you need sleep. It's going to help you sleep. You need energy. It's going to help you have energy. What? Helps reduce your stress and burden and overwhelm and what? anxiety, feelings of anxiety. It helps with focus. 
It helps with your immune system. It literally has so many key ingredients, you guys. Let me read you these ingredients. Vitamin C, vitamin D3, vitamin B12, magnesium, ashwagandha, turmeric, milk thistle, um, rosilia, ginger, potassium, green tea. Like, oh, I love that she just listed all things that you can get from your, from your local vitamin shop or whatever. None of that is that incredible. So it's an expensive vitamin. Cool. That checks out. These ingredients you guys take. <laughs> yes, Stephanie. Me too, sister. Me too. Um, these ingredients are things that I was taking in a multitude of other supplements. Like these are ingredients that my doctor recommends that I take. And now I get to take them in one supplement that combines it all and tastes freaking amazing, you guys. I mean, is it the same amount? Probably not. Oh, man, so much to say. I'm just going to keep it moving, though. Also, Luna looks really cute over here. I'm going to try and get a picture of her. Um, I, like, I, I could literally go on and on and on about this opportunity that I have found, but I've been searching for it. I found it. It has been a very, very, very hard week. But what I'm doing is I am picking up and I am moving on and I am moving on to bigger and better things. Um, I am so super excited about this. There's 10 ways you get paid. I can help people make 50. Seven of which are off of recruiting. But of course, you're not going to tell your audience that, are, are, are you? No, but I will. You guys already, you, you heard it here. $50 a pop on commissions. They earn their product for free. There's over $570,000 up for grabs and bonuses for anyone who joins this company. We have an app. Is that the leadership pool? Because I bet that's what that is that you're referring to, which also is based off recruiting. That basically runs our entire business for free. You never have to buy your own product. There's no minimums. There's no like, oh, you have to spend this much money each month. There's no huge starter packs. You guys, I paid $4,000 for my last starter pack. Yeah, that's because you probably bought that NFT, which is a complete joke. <laughs> okay, no starter packs. If you join me before the end of this month, it's $50 for your membership fee. $50 for your membership fee. And then you pay for your product for the first month. And then after that, I'm going to help you earn it for free. You pay for your product. So if you're going to get it for free, that means you have to get two customers. So leaving out some details a little bit there. The product is freaking amazing. We have 37 achievement bonuses. We have ranks that have bonuses tied to them that are actually achievable for the actual for the for the small network marketers, for the average network marketers. We have huge bonuses that help the leaders in this industry. What did you say, Laura? <laughs> well, you're saying ouch to something. I don't know what I said. Um, all I know is we literally have it all. This company literally has it all. And I'm going to be scheduling a Zoom that you can hop on with. Oh, yeah. If you guys have access to the Zoom, I would love for you to send it my way. That would be <laughs> amazing because I want to see her try and explain the comp plan because I'm looking right at it right now. And I know JJ and I are, have already covered it. In fact, I'm going to link that video uh, that we did together right here. If the um, CEO and or VP of sales... The leaders here are freaking incredible. Um, I wish I had their stats to tell you about how many customers they've been able to produce and how much in sales they've been able to produce. They're, they're proven people with um, good track records. They're humble. It's so they have a history in multi-level marketing and have figured out how to manipulate people, in my opinion. Got it. Also, looking at their comp plan, there's three... Well, I don't even know how many ranks there are. There's a lot of them, 18, 21 ranks or something. So the first three ranks are social marketer one, social marketer two, and social marketer five. So those are the first three ranks. 
and potential organizational commissions, $50 for the first or for the second level, and then $100 for the for social marketer five. But just as I suspected, once you get to influencer one, which is the next level, um, that's where you have a monthly organizational product or no, excuse me. Influencer three is where you have, uh, they call them product points, but I, I believe that's the requirement for volume within the group. I could be wrong. I could absolutely be wrong. It's literally everything I could ask for. And all I know is I wasn't going to just walk away from this industry. So I had to find something that was truly going to benefit my team and my people. Oh yeah, Laura. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 4k in a starter pack. Yeah, that's ouch. Um, and so I had to find it. I had to find something that was different that, 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 that I could stand behind that I knew that I could help the average person win. And I searched far and wide and I can tell you guys that most of what's out there right now is same old, same old. And I knew that if I was going to continue, which I knew I was, I had to find something that was truly different. And the bottom line is something I could stand behind and somewhere where I could actually help people win. I will never stand for shadiness. I will never stand for things that don't align. I will never stand for something that my intuition or the facts tell me is concerning. And again, if, if, if I get judged, if I get hated for, for speaking the truth or for moving on, so be it, hate me. Cause I'd rather you hate me for being honest than for lying to you. And that is one thing that I will always do is be honest, share my truth. And I will literally always rather walk alone then walk with people that are going in the wrong direction. You know that uh, lying by omission, whether intentional or not, is still considered lying and not honest. And I can tell you guys that this industry is changing. Just like Holly said, no, this not. industry is changing. It is not the same industry I joined nine years ago. And in the next few years, it's going to change even more. And if we don't start adapting, if we don't start adapting, we're not, we're, it's, it's not going to be good. It's not. Is, is that why you have come up or whoever has come up with the term social referral marketing and it's kind of an MLM, but not really. Is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to adapt because that's not going to work. Not going to be good. And so I found something where we can bring influencers in. You can, you can bring the influencers, the affiliate marketers. You can bring um, your average network marketers. You can bring the leaders. It's a place that literally everyone can win. And they've set it up in such a way that it rewards everyone equally for the work that they're putting in. Now, you and I know that that's not accurate. Everybody is not rewarded equally. By, by that logic, if somebody comes in and they only get one customer, you're going to say that they have an equal opportunity to, to earn the same amount of money as somebody that has a large team. Like that, that logic doesn't even make any sense. There's a reason that you joined early in this company. There's a reason in that post that you said, you mentioned that there's less than 2000 distributors. There's a reason that you did that. There's a reason that you were looking for a new opportunity. And it's because, you know, when you get in early, you're going to make more money than other people. That's why you said what you did at the end of that post. You know, I know you've been watching for a while. It's time to get started. You don't want to miss this opportunity because, you know, you're going to make some money because you got in early and you're going to make that money off of recruiting. Probably team members that were on your team in Awakened and previous companies that you were a part of. You're recruiting and making money in new companies off of the same people over and over again. And if you're somebody that used to be in her downline and you're watching this, don't join her. Get out of your MLM. Don't allow her to grift off of your time, energy, and effort. That's just my personal opinion, by the way. And that's how it should be. It shouldn't be these top leaders making all this money and the bottom people struggling. That's not how that. That is the basis of multi-level marketing that you are a part of. This should be. And I will always stand 
for what is right, what is fair, and what my followers and my people have come to know from me, trust from me, and want from me. And that is a promise. But y'all, I'm super freaking excited. Onward and upward. It has been one of the hardest weeks of my life, but we're ending this in a positive way. And I would love to share more with you guys. I would love to run with you guys. I would love to share with you what is so different here. I would love for you to try the product. I would love for you to be part of this next generation of network marketing where we're literally breaking the mold, literally getting rid of the toxic cultures, literally saying goodbye to all of that and paving the way for a new industry standard. <laughs> and that, my friends, is what I'm gonna do. You will also probably see me adding in a few random things. So for those of you that don't know, I do have a pretty big TikTok following. I love building on TikTok and I have a few influencers, so like influencer affiliate type things. So I might be sharing some of my skincare that I have found that is truly, truly life-changing and amazing. Um, I also found a few other products that I was selected to be an affiliate for on TikTok. But you guys, this, this is where I'm at. This so she knows the difference between affiliate marketing and multi-level marketing. She just said it herself. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm sharing. This is what I've been loving. I have been using these products consistently for the last few weeks. And I'm telling you, telling you, they're literally going to change your life if you let it. The oh my God. If I find out it's another multi-level marketing company, I'm going to scream. It better not be. Business, the product, and I am here for it. I'm here to help you change your life. I'm here to help you break the mold. I'm here to change the mold of this industry to continue to shed positivity, light, love, happiness, growth, personal growth, friendship. That is what I'm gonna continue to share. I'm gonna help you make $50 a sale on commission. I'm gonna help you earn your product for free each month. I'm gonna help you earn bonuses that you've never been able to achieve at other companies. Through recruiting, I just want to make sure I'm filling in the gaps since you're, you know, not telling the whole story. I'm going to help you find a community that loves on you as a person, as a human, you can be yourself. I'm good. We don't need the love bombing. Thank you very much. You don't have to be anything other than you and you're perfect just the way you show up. If you want to run with me, I'll run with you. If you want to sit with me, I'll sit with you. That is what I'm here to do. That's what I'm going to continue to do. Hate me if you want. Unfollow me if you want. Block me if you want. But I will always, always, always continue to stand up for the people that need it. Continue to be an advocate for this industry, the change that's needed in this industry. And sometimes that means getting out of the place that people have called their home. And people don't talk. AKA cross recruiting. Got it. About the courage it takes to walk away from that and start fresh. <laughs> the hate that they get, the criticism that they get. But the bottom line is I don't care. I'd rather walk alone. That negates everything that you just said. You just said you want to help people get out of the company that they're in. And then you were like, well, wait a minute. I'm, I'm totally fine with walking alone. Which is it? I know I'm not going to be, but I would rather walk alone. And I'd rather people judge me for telling the truth than lying. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm done with her repeating herself over and over again. And I'm definitely done with her speaking speaking in multi-level marketing buzz phrases that she probably heard at, at her last event. Yikes. That was a whole lot. Anyways, that's an update. What did you guys think about that? I know it was super intense yikes anyways if you have not already i would love for you to like comment uh subscribe if you have not already uh also don't forget check out pansy and peach uh website again is shop pansy and peach.com and you can use code aaron 15 all in caps again i don't benefit off of that it's just a discount code that she wanted to give you guys because her cups are super cute. So thank you again, Megan, for sending this to me. Guys, don't join an MLM.
don't do it. I know sometimes they say the right things and we feel it in our little heart like, oh man, maybe this is the one. It's not. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. I appreciate you, your commentary, you guys watching, just everything. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.